What's going on, Tiger Tran Clan? We are coming at you with some more Kanishi. And as soon as we got our gates repaired from the last epic gankitude of desert bandits into like 15 raptors, <laughs> at least they gave us enough time. I had every single person engineering, repairing gates, and as soon as the gates get back up, boom. Incoming slave mongers. We're wearing their gear. These dudes are salty McStevens for good reason. I get it. We attacked you. We took your gear. Uh, <laughs> we guys are evil. I mean, you do enslave everyone in the world. So we have all of our guys per the usual rolling up over here. Uh, we're going to take a screenshot of this because I think this would be a really cool uh, thumbnail. I mean, I love how these guys, I mean, this dude just picked us out i don't even know man this guy must have like eagle eyes mcgee dude look at him like who are you looking at bruh maybe he can see over that low wall maybe he sees this dude yeah that's possible hmm because he's wearing a lot of the slavers items but like not the helmet but he does have the shirt that'd be interesting i wonder if i would have totally decked him out what would have happened you know what i mean all right whoa this dude has a lot of gear in his inventory, though. Let's pop this out just so he's not encumbered and that he can battle at max efficiency just in case they do push through all our gates. I, I don't think they will, but without further ado, let's see how this pans out. All right, we're going to get K-10 on this crossbow. I don't think she'll be able to land any shots from here, but... Where's our boy Blend? Gosh, Blend, how are you so heavy, too? Man, everyone's just... Oh, this, yeah, this was the guy they figured out. Cover blown. All right, but he's our best person to... Shoot. That's why I put him on that outer perimeter, but maybe it would have been better to take someone who was a little bit quicker. All right, let's get everybody on their bows. I really need to look for a mod like I talked about in the last video defensive positions in rim world where people just know where to go whenever we come under attack if i'm able just to push one button that would be huge Ooh, i just got that busted up leg but we did get our hemp farms online while we were off camera it didn't take very much what we realized was you can't really grow you really can't grow cotton out here it's 10 percent of your crop yield you'll get it's pretty dang brutal uh i mean i had it going because we started with co cotton but i'm really glad we bought hemp on the road and hemp grows insanely well in the swamp so we're using this area here because this is all swamp land this is like the end of the arid biomes right here and then swamp land so it is really cool that we built right on the edge of everything gave us some really good bonuses dang these dudes hit like monsters on the gate 42 damage holy cow but good thing we're blapping them in the back over here oh look at this only two dudes have aggroed on us thus far oh here we go now the rest of them are coming in imposta so it must be like as soon as they see it all right what are these guys gonna do now oh they're metting yeah get lit up son yeah the gate's wide open come on in not nah. So now they're trying to met each other because they're like, what the heck do we do? <laughs> and I know what you do. You take bolts to your face, son. Oh, I can't wait to get all this delicious loot. Come on, boys. Yeah, pick them up. Put them down. Turn them around. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I don't want these guys getting away. Dang, dude. I love these bolts, man. See, yeah, it's interesting how they go on priority medic now as you close this do door as they're coming in. Let's open it up. Because quite honestly, I don't mind trapping them in between. Get lit, son. Oh, this will be so good because this is more gear for us to sell with Quan, I need to get some humans, dude. Some humans that are good at farming. But I just want to increase the size of my army in general. Because if we can do that, 
Can our boy the giant do some work over here? Let's pop you over here for now. Light them up. Light them up. All right. Now we're going to close this one. And this one. They're ch they're, they'll be trapped in this choke point. <laughs> I mean, they would do this in real warfare, man. It's pretty pretty cool to think as like a strategy where you'd, you'd bait them in to an area, close the door behind them, hit them with oil or something along those lines. Oh, man, they can't land anything, though. It's brutal. All right, let's open it up. And then for here, we're just going to take them off passive and block. We'll pull them off, and we'll just let them go out and wreck these fools. Imposta. All right, let's just uh, attack all with these guys. I'm going to leave Blend on the, the crossbow just in case any of them get up and attempt to run. Yeah, shred him, son. Quan is a great warrior, so this will be really good. Tiger went in for a back strike, but for some reason this guy has ninja skills. He's got... He's been doing lat day all day, so a sword coming out of his spinal cord did absolutely nothing. <laughs> all day lat day. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh no, that's Ruka. Ruka looks a lot. Well, a lot of us look like slavers. Wait, did Sun actually get taken out? Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's get our quick folk out here looting lots of delicious gear before they get up so we need to put you guys back on jobs passive and we'll do the same thing with quan i don't mind him cutting down guys all right where is wait where's the bandit we just took out he's like gonzo all right, good. They're taking that person to go and get healed up. Dude, this is really weird. It's like the body of that one guy disappeared, or maybe it phased to the ground. Strange. All right, well, let's hope that there are some other people that we can loot. Are you joking with me right now? Did they all just disappear? Is this some kind of bug? Are you telling me I'm going to get any loot from any of this? What? What? Wow, maybe that's what happened to the other bandits we were fighting, that maybe their bodies just disappeared. Dude, that's horrendous. So we take a bunch of damage to our structures, which means that we have to use a bunch of time. And then we get zero loot out of it. I guess we got skill, which I can't complain about that, but wow. But son got taken out. All right, let's get... So Quan is real quick. I am going to attempt to use him to run this away, because I think the village is there. Oh, he's doing that weird pathing bug. So let's, let's just get him closer outside. For some reason, they like to run into this layer here. I don't know how this game paths. I don't know if it just has like generic waypoints or what, but... Let's just hope he doesn't get ganked by anything. Because I really want to get some humans. Let us close this for now. These people are hungry, but I think... How are we doing for meat? get all the sellables we should have probably grabbed some of these teeth and put them on our boy man that is such a bummer though that those bodies just disappeared instantly when they hit the ground hmm i wonder what the issue is that's weird dang dude he's just like swimming the entire way or i guess he's walking in deep water right now because there's a human village over here i know there's a uh... There is a Shek, but there, obviously we know the Shek village. I think it might be closer than this village, just because if we have to walk through water. I don't know if you can create bridges. That'd be really cool if you could, but I've never seen them. 
Kind of interested to see. Everyone's repairing. Speed this up. That's it. We'll know if somebody gets attacked. This is such a beautiful biome, man. They did a really good job with the swamp. Oops. That's not what I wanted you, bruh. You run it. Yeah, see, it's interesting. He's like, instead of just running against the the land, he chooses to run through the water. So it must just be doing some kind of straight line, I'm guessing. I mean, thankfully, Quan is epically fast, dude. His last athleticism is already 62. So he's by far the fastest and strongest person we have. So it makes him a really good trader. Ooh, what the heck are those? Of course, raptors. All right, let's check the village, make sure we're not getting ganked. Ooh, big giant trees. Yeah, so hard because they come from this road and they come from around this side as well. I wonder if inevitably putting up all some turrets right here would be a good play. Because the raptors do come through this water. I'm just thinking like having like one guy maybe up here on this corner. Raining down havoc. Alright, Amaretta's still repairing that door, which is great. Her engineering skill is awesome. Where's our boy Hobbs at? Oh, okay, good. Hobbs is getting us some plants right now. There's like a 40% fail rate, unfortunately. Because of... Um, because of the fact that this is an arid biome, which is a bummer. Alright, so the question becomes, who do we make our cook? I think it was K10, right? But no, K10 is our weaponsmith, and now I want her just weaponsmithing. Because making weapons and making money off of it is just so dang important. So there's almost... So Hobbs is a farmer, right? And I... Ah, man. This is tough. Yes, the shacks get a disadvantage to cooking, but at this point, we just need hands on deck. And that, I mean, it's partially why we're going to the other village as well. You know, maybe we pull K10 off just for a minute. So I think what we'll do is we're going to have her work it like this, right? So as soon as she has enough enough grain, she'll work the oven first. And then she'll work the silo second. So this means, like, if she has grain, she'll work the oven. But if she doesn't have grain, then she'll make grain. So that way we're never wasting more resources than we need to. I just want to get a little bit of bread online just because I don't know how long it's going to take Quan to attempt to find this. Uh... Oh, wow, look at that. It phased in the crossbows. So let's hit pause for a second. It's loading this new area. I've never been here before. So what it does is it's like generating the world. So you can still see it's loading. Man, this is such a cool... They did such a cool job with these trees. It just like looks like a total alien world. Whoa, look how gigantic that one is over in the distance. That's so cool. Loving it. Straight up loving it. All right. I think that village is... I think it has to be around here. I, I'm bummed that we haven't found anything yet. Oh, I guess we found a camp. So I'm just hoping that maybe there's even like some runes or something. I did find some runes. I, I mostly played in the north and not to the south. But I, I do know... Ooh, shark. Shark. Oh, yeah, here we go. Cool. Now, let's hope they don't hate hive people. That would suck. All right, so we're going to pause just in case they do. He does have a bounty on his head. It's with the Holy Empire, though, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure these guys aren't Holy Nation. Ooh, we discovered a village as well. That's cool. It's so interesting. This village is so close. Can we actually look at this one? So oh, maybe you can only look at them if you're like close enough to i'd love to clear these out at some point i don't know how the whole spawning mechanic exactly works but it would be nice to not be under a relentless attacks over and over and over again cool all right so we're still making tons of plates which is great let's see how k10's doing over here with the bread making how does this work 
So what is she what's she up to now, right? So she is operating a machine. Okay, so she's operating the grain silo now because she ran out of grain. So as soon as she gets straw, flour, she picks up that flour and she plops it right in here so we can get some bread action. Oh, look at that. So you don't actually need to man the oven. It just bakes up bread as long as you put flour in it. That's a cool mechanic. So yeah, so she's running over here, grabbing the wheat, putting the wheat inside of the silo. And then from the silo, she's then putting it into the bread making facility. That's cool. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab Hobbs and we're going to have him basically just grab all of this wheat and put it inside of this silo. So that way they don't have to do so many trips. There we go. So now K10's just crushing it, dude. Loving it, dude. Loving it. Gosh, if we can get one more farmer, that would be magnificent. And one more cook. Oh, that'd be the life. What I'm hoping to do is there's a lot of bars here. So let's bop over to the bars first. It's been a while since I've been to this village. It's a really cool village. They did a really good job with it. Let's uh, slow down time here. Still loading everything. Okay. Ooh. What does it say? You outlander, sit your rump down and come play some cat crawlers. Some kind of gambling game, I guess. That's cool. Um... Wait, can I sell to you? Uh, no, never mind. Okay, so this guy doesn't actually buy things, which is a bummer. Please tell me someone is willing to join us. If you ever need help smoothing things over with the Holy Nation, you know where to find me. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm here. I have a bounty on my head. I wonder if it, I... Interesting. It's not going to let us uh, do anything. Okay. Need a Merc? Uh, no. Hummut. Nor in this world is truly safe. Even with the famous Swamp Capital, there are, are eyes everywhere. You, Romer, you look well-traveled. What are your thoughts on slavery? Uh... I think it's an ugly pra practices, and I want no involvement in it. I do, too. The slavers, they took someone from me. Someone very special to me. Branded her body and put her to work in those stinking hellhole of a mine. This needs to stop. We need to take a stand and fight this barbaric slave culture. I plan to f visit the slaver outpost, but I need allies. Uh, so if you're going to the slaver's outpost, I'll join you for free. Oh, you'll join me for free? Shh. Keep your voice down. Somebody might hear us. I'll join you for free. And you'll join me in the fight against the slave. Uh, against slavery. Of course I will fight for the oppressed. Let's do it. Booyah! Let's go, boys! Dang! He's got some solid gear, too. Oh, all standard. Wow. His pants are kind of dopey but everything else is real solid Ooh, that makes that makes your boy tiger real nice and happy you know what i'm saying all right so this dude is going to run back we will that actually would be really cool i know we said that we wanted to take out the holy nation at one point but i think the slavers would be a really cool faction to declare war on first all right so wait why, why aren't you running to where i told you to go come on bruh killing me man Oh, that is so huge. I'm so glad that we got someone for free. Oh, you don't know how happy that makes me. I still need to find someone who can... I can sell to. Sigh. Everyone underrates the cook. But you know what? Without a good cook, you'll be crapping sideways for the rest of your days. Part part of a sword training is a scientist's research... Wait, part of a swordsman's training, a scientist's research, part of it all is good food. How can you improve without fuel to nourish the mind and body? So, are you going to hire me? Depends what your price. 6,000 cats for a cook, man, you killing me, Smalls. Sorry, I can't afford it. Wait, was this the cook? Yeah. 
Thank you. Alright, good to know. Sorry, no deal. What this dude? You waiting from around here, are you? I'm looking to band up and get out of this town. You looking to team up? Uh, yes. Sure, I'm interested. Just need 300 cats. Safety money first. So, safety, safety pay. Why not just join me for free? You know. So you don't just leave me high and dry somewhere on the desert somewhere. Gives me value to ensure me safety. All right. That's, I mean, I don't mind paying you if I had the, the coinage, but I do not. All right. But I am pumped that we got one person for free. Let's, uh, I'm trying to find a shop right now. Oh, here we go. Get your fish. And your drogas. Are you looking for drugs and fish? That is like a weird thing to market together fish and drugs i guess you do get the munchies if you're smoking the herbas herbas mates uh let's see sure i'll take a look i'm wondering if this oh my gosh look how expensive these fish are thin fish and they barely give you any food oh my gosh oh this dried fish you might oh man uh, we're actually making bread right now, and there's, so there's a part of me that just wants to, I would love to get, oh, I would love to get, oh, we've got 3k, we could pick up that other person, which would be great. Rice wheat. So it is nutritious. Hmm. I wonder if we bought enough, is it rice weed? Wait, rice weed? Do, is that what we plant? Is that what we need for researching? Let's look at texture here. Dang, we just unlocked a bunch of things because of... Uh, we unlocked tier 2, which is great. Oh yeah, rice weed farming. So then, do you have to cook? Is it advanced cooking? Yeah, isn't Gohan made with rice weed? So we need some books, inevitably. Oh, we've got cactuses as well. I think we'll pass on that because I think we're going to make cactus sandwiches. All right, let's look for another person in which we can... Uh, not today, bro. Actually, let's... Uh... Man, I don't... I just don't know. Let's, uh... let's buy a little bit of food. Never hurts. I mean, it's... this stuff isn't crazy expensive. Oh, but it did break us. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I should have done is, after I bought that, I should have sold my blades to this guy. Take my blades. I want all that delicious money back. All right. Gosh, I would love to get that cook. Hey, I don't like you. You're getting a drubbing. Just you wait. What the heck is a drubbing? He's this photo the stone rat. What the heck is a stone rat? I've never heard of that in my life. Wait, where's where's our boy at? Because we might need to brawl this phony. He's going to try to attack me. Let's hit that save button. I mean, Quan's a good worker. Or, good worker. He's a good warrior, but... Let's see what this guy says. You're in the stone rat's haunt. Runt. And if you're sticking around, you're going to need to know who's in charge. I run this patch, and I run you. I didn't mean to trespass. Go bother someone else who cares. I'm just traveling through. I'm famous around these parts and everyone knows to show me respect. You'd be wise to unless you want a deadly kicking from me and my clan. Okay, note to self. Respect the meathead lols. Right, I understand. Show me your respect. Bow down to me. Dance for me. Surprise for me. <laughs> you can do a sexy dance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. I kind of want to do it just to... Uh, yeah, damn. I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Go on and get out of here. <laughs> so we, we, did, we impressed him or anti-impressed him with our sexy dance moves. Oh my gosh. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have uh, Hamut just keep on running back to the town then. <laughs> Dude, I would love to get the guy who has great cooking skill, but I'm not gonna be able to make 6,000 cats anytime soon, and cooking isn't really, I mean, 
Oh, what am I doing? Wait, no, we did. We did get the, the money that we needed. Yes, I'm interested. Okay, let's do this. Cool. All right, so this is one of those guys that you can actually customize. All right, so we did have a new subscriber. So we talked about this in so many episodes before, but we ended up uh, <laughs> just getting attacked massively and just having to spend all of our money just on... We had to spend all our money just on surviving, getting food. It was brutal. So we can't change his race. I don't like this hunchback. I like his hair, though. This is a cool style. I just don't like his... his uh, we're going to make him bigger frame. I don't like this posture at all, bro. Let's uh, get him in a cooler stance. I like this one. I'm going to put some bulk on him. We know our boy likes to play speedruns of, of uh, Mega Man. Dude, this guy looks pretty cool, man. This is a really cool hairstyle. I think I don't think this is a stock hairstyle unless they put in something new. Cool. Fighting my demons. Here we go. Maybe he's got some toaster gear, but thankfully we have a bunch of excess stuff back at home. And this will be great because he'll probably end up being our cook. Maybe even a farmer. We do need... Oh, no. Emeretta is our weaponsmith. So, yeah. He'll probably end up being either a farmer, a farmer slash cook. All right. Perfect. So we're going to have you start running back as well. Let's see what he started off with. I'm sure it's toast. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he started off with like the most hor horrendous uh, katana and some ragged pants that don't even have AC. All right. Let's try and find another shop here for us to start running to. And unpause it. So that doesn't look like a shop. Oh, that's cool. They've got some bows over here. Oh, I think this is the harpoon. I've never used a harpoon. I wonder if it's better than a crossbow. I wonder if it slows or something. All right, I don't see anything that has a shop sign. But I do remember... Okay, here we go. This is a backpack shop, traveling shop. A lot of times they... Well, they'll have backpacks in there. Sometimes they'll have food as well. Why are you taking a powder, man? He's like slowly walking. I need you sprinting, son. Maybe it's because of the rain. Let's hit pause. I kind of... Harpoon turret, right? So this thing does 75 damage. Range 121. Whoa. What's the range of like just a crossbow? Because I'm assuming this will probably be a similar level. Oh, okay. But what... Okay. Okay. So those, the crossbows have way less range, do less damage. Now the question is, what the heck is deviation? Is that how fast it spins or something? So this has higher deviation, whatever that means. Aim speed 1x. Hmm. So it makes sense. Harpoons are a higher tier defense. But dang, dude, that's crazy. You could one-shot some fools with that. Skins. Yeah, so what do you want? Trading? Yeah, let's trade. Oh, boy's got sleeping bag. 600 cats! Holy cow! That's ridiculous. What is this? A long coat. Wait, these are long coats, right? Yeah, long coats don't have... Oh, but these ones actually do have sleeves. They just cover... Oh, they cover a decent amount of the arms. More of the right arm than the left. The question is, is do we... Oh, these are standard. Yeah. I don't think we'll ever be wearing those. I mean, it's nice that they cover they cover a lot of your body, though. And we will have leather, but how much is that blueprint? Gosh, a thousand. I, I don't. I don't want to spend money on that. It'll be there in the future. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for the video. We this is awesome. We had Quan come out here. We were able to sell a lot of 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 items able to get two new guys added to the crew so that'll be great for our infrastructure and now probably in the next episode there's still one more bar to check and i'm hoping from there if we can get another free guy oh that would be huge but thankfully slave mongers got taken out and we are sitting in a good position and oh man it's just this game is so brutal you can just you just see it that last episode maybe 
so sad inside <laughs> it's the challenge i think it's just one of those things is like it's not like they're saying hey we're gonna send you you know one wave then another wave it's just things are just randomly roaming and sometimes you get hit by 40 50 guys sometimes you get hit by you know 10 slavers but they you just never know but that's one of the fun things about this game as well so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and let me know in the comments and if you're new think about hitting that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time